All right, folks, it's Friday. Big happy Friday to everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, July 12th. It's just a little better than 7.30 p.m. Thought we'd do a quick video, tell you what's been going on. Did you hear that? That's thunder. That's part of the story. First things first, though. Fred, I hope all is well. Hope you're doing okay. Hey, Fred. Oh, good golly almighty. Okay. The day started with doing chores very early this morning. I went back to planting at 6 a.m., which is... Wasn't a big deal. <clears throat> you know, in the springtime, you can't get away with that. But uh, she was just a dust cloud out there. I finished that planting. I'm yet to do a video on what I did, my science behind it. There will be one coming. Came home immediately, cleaned up some seed, parked some stuff, hooked up to the disc bind, and went and cut a piece of property. <clears throat> Stopped at 11, came home, hooked up to the rotary rake. Uh, took a chance. The chance paid off. It's, it's behind me, and then some. You'll see. Uh, we had rain scheduled all day today to start by 4 p.m., um, and then it got kicked up to 5 p.m., thank God, because I was running late. Had a baler problem, square baler. And uh, as it turned out, we didn't get any of it. <clears throat> now, we lost the sun about 4.30, which is highly important. But we didn't get any rain. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, went to square baling until the problem. Uh, this is all I got. It was a smaller field. <clears throat> We'll do, a, we'll do a vid on that field in just a little bit. 90 bales has already been sold tonight. These are all for off the wagon. This is 80-20 alfalfa grass. <coughs> Excuse me. 90 bales went tonight. That same person's coming for another 90 tomorrow morning. Another 100 is spoken for. And uh, uh, well, with a little bit of luck... I will not have to set up an unloading process for these. These should be all gone tomorrow by noon. We'll see what happens. Well, okay, we had the threat of rain. Hey, Fred. We had the threat of rain. Baylor had a problem. It still has a problem. It'll be diagnosed in the morning. My give a damn's right now. Uh... Maybe I'm not that strong, but my give a dams right now just aren't very good. It's been a long day. Been a good day, though. So, that hay needs to be picked up. That's some good stuff there. So, my oh my, look at that beautiful trailer. Folks, here it is. It got delivered while I wasn't here today, but I'm okay with that. This is the 9 foot by 24 foot easy trail. We'll just call this a bale wagon. <clears throat> so I ended up spitting out uh, about 12 and a half round bales because I thought it needed to be done. I'm glad I did. Doesn't matter anyway. The squared baler was down for now. Uh, fed the Holstein heifers a bale and a half. This is what I got left. <clears throat> I know some horse people that might be interested in it. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. It's good stuff. Dry to the bone. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, forget about the hay. This trailer, very happy with it. Very happy with it. I've needed this for the last three years at a minimum, folks. And I've been talking about it for three years. Well, here we go. Um, very happy with it. What I'm most happy about is that it's green. Um, no, we're not going to get into this, but Easy Trail is very well known. Actually, they're known for lots of different colors, but red. I thought it was going to be red, so when I pulled home, when I pulled in the driveway today after, I was after raking. I seen this sitting there, and I had just a gleam from ear to ear. So, yeah, the only drawback to this wagon, and I knew it 
when I purchased it is it's 10 ton running gear. I would have preferred a good 13 or better. 13. This is what they had. I took it. So you can haul, well, they say 10 ton, but we know how that game goes. So yeah, um, suitable for all sorts of uh, round bales. Uh, as far as hauling baleage, I see a six and six. I see being able to haul 12 at a crack without having to beat up the trailer. 12 at a crack when it comes time to feed in the wrapper. Uh, the one thing I need to do and that I want to do, because the reason this bale's like this, I had to go track this down, folks. I, I lost it. Um, I want to put a 4x4 four four on each side. I will not put anything down the runners here, but a 4x4 four four on each end. <clears throat> if I'm lucky enough and i got a spare half hour tomorrow, which I already know that I don't, I'd like to put them on there. Because after tomorrow, I'm going to have a lot of round bales all over the place that I need to, by God, get picked up and start storing. So, yeah, Easy Trail Incorporated. Since 1964, Arthur, Illinois. <clears throat> if you're involved with farming whatsoever, Easy Trail is probably a household name. Um, you know, I, I was... It was whatever the price was right. I was okay with a, with an H&S, Easy Trail. Uh, what is it, Walco, Wilco? I think those are out of Canada. And uh, there's two or three different other ones. This was available on the drop of a hat. The price was right. I'm very happy about it. <clears throat> and here we go. Yeah. It's a good day today. So... We got another big video coming up. Yesterday morning, we let the bulls out. Bulls on parade right now. That's gonna take a video for me to explain it. There's a reason behind it. All's well. Uh, these are the bottle calves, folks, that you've seen a couple of times. These are Holstein bull calves, which are now, as we speak, steers. And we got the uh, Black Angus calf here that was orphaned. He's doing real good. They're doing pretty fair. They're obviously set up in a couple of super hutches here. They got a full stock tank of water, which they're going through water like I have never seen before. They're getting grain twice a day. Um, getting some really good hay. In fact, this, this was square baled two day. So that gives you a little, little look see what's out there. <clears throat> they're doing pretty good yeah we need to do some catching up here on some tours and what's going on with the cattle the bulls it's a big deal right now and of course Holstein heifers <clears throat> we'll do that in a small amount of time to come here folks when I got a little time right now it's all about running 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 um, another big day tomorrow we got pure sunshine Saturday and Sunday, and I've got hay down for both days. So we're going to be spitting it out like a son of a gun. And uh, you'll be sure to get some videos on some stuff, maybe some raking, some bailing, a <clears throat> whole bunch of other stuff. So, folks, I got to get going. I got uh, I got some stuff to uh, tie up here. Been a long day. Been a good day. Um, Hope everything's going okay. Big happy Friday to you. I hope you have some nice plans this weekend. I really do. And uh, stay classy. <laughs> I think that I'm going to start throwing that in there once in a while. You guys tell me what you like. Yeah, stay classy. Folks, we're going to talk to you sooner and later. Have a great night.